if how you, to make your friends look stupid get them to foil for one the first time it's not that's not it it's <laughs> no, not it it's, I know. <laughs> it's a humbling experience they all the guys that are good at foil they make it look so easy that everyone's like oh i could do that and then you stand on the thing and you're like wow people think it's it's like another <clears throat> thing behind the boat and everything translates it doesn't mm. the speed you have to go way slower you have to start way slower we're gonna start you on a 75 foot line and everybody hammers it and so what you feel is this thing launching you off mm. you're not doing that wait i'm excited because we're going foiling and rusty's gonna learn to foil he's on a hyperlight magic carpet the big one yes the bigger one i ride the smaller one we're up here in the bow of the gs22 we just did a review on that you guys can go check that out uh, where rusty just rode this thing fully weighted uh, but now we are going foiling and this is really exciting so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get in and learn to stand on the board just to feel the buoyancy learn to just stand on it balanced just like literally spend 30 seconds here that'll make a big difference no more right there right there keep it down cut hard right cut hard right it's gonna fly cut hard and keep it down Keep it down, keep it down. Yes, keep it down. Feel it start installing right now. There you go, there you go, there you go. Cut far right. Keep it up, keep it up. There you go, there you go, yeah. Feel just the movement, the rhythm of up, down, left, and right because the next thing we're gonna do is you're gonna go find energy. And to do that, you gotta move around. gotten really good at it and loves to spread the feeling and I finally caved and I'm like fine let's do this and we've been in for about 15 minutes and I've pretty much foiled like for he, he's like in the advanced seconds. class you're making it a lot easier for me to jump steps because we were riding great, doubles great and student rest yeah you're picking it up quick when when it comes time to fly and get in the power it's about placement not movement don't move too much get below it get you're on top of the power that's too you're honestly doing too well i'm boiling yes <laughs> i just, just need to boil no just ride you're doing great you see this whitewash the bubbles coming off the boat get up to them yes? yeah go 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 ride it down ride it down ride it down now get off glide glide get off just let it glide let it glide put the wing back into the top get the wing back up get it up just get it up get it up box jump up you don't have to bounce up it's just a quick hop up. Oh, I, used the I know you're doing great. The board that you're on is very buoyant, and this is not easy. The one that I teach people on the shuttle is way less buoyant and is easier to hold under. Oh. Flight. <laughs> Bro, man, this is a good day. Rusty's spoiling. <laughs> Don't try to jump too much. Just pop it up once and watch what happens. Oh, you're gonna be in a lot of juice there. There you go. Let it ride, let it ride. Pop up, just pop up. Watch what happens. There you go. Stay on it, stay on it. Just ride up, ride up, ride up. Oh, he's screaming. Just glide, up higher, just glide. Just let it glide. <laughs> yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> we did it. Bro. That was awesome. I mean, yeah, I went from, I would say zero to 60 in 30 minutes. Like for real. Really fast. Like the like, fact that you're on power. There, you're, Yeah, there's definitely. That's the fastest, fast I've seen anyone do this. There's definitely like still like some legitimate like unknowns, like feelings that I like don't quite understand just yet. But that was the first time where I felt like 
consistent push and I was just standing there and like snap up and down and slow down and like a lot of fun. <laughs> Thank you, man. The foot placement for me was the biggest thing. Like I had just happened to look at you and your, your foot was like here. Yeah, sitting on that so leading edge. Then I adjusted my foot and immediately I was like, oh, it like got so much easier and more control for me. Yep. The minute I moved my foot to where you had yours, I was like, oh wow, I felt so much more control. Yes. Even 10 to 12 doesn't seem like that big a deal, but it made a but huge that's difference once, for me. Once you're flying in control, <clears throat> but to start, you want to be way slow. Yeah. That, like it makes a massive difference. <clears throat> like start to where, because you're like, go, go, go. Because you, you felt very quickly when that wing was like kind of stalling, you're like, I, I'm still in control and you wanted it to go. And that's that hardest part is learning for that that real soft stall to then when you take off. Yeah, so it's like, what? Uh, bah, yes. bah, 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 but eventually, thing. once you learned how much weight on your front foot, more weight on your front well, foot. Well, I you noticed too, like the minute I like would go, like I'll start like think about like dropping into my front leg. Yeah. Was like it so much, so not you, like that traditional wakeboard, like pull back and ride it this way. That's that launches like, let it out. Pull you out. Oh, that's a big day for me. Big day. As for all of us. My progression on that, foil goes. That was awesome. We're going to do more of that. If you guys have any questions <laughs> or comments about foiling, whatever, for Rusty me, put those below. Always appreciate it when you like and share. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, you don't have to, but you can. But if you don't and you watch, why wouldn't you? Because Murray does this stuff every day and pays Tim and has me come out. I live an hour away. doesn't make me pay for gas. So it's like all out of his pocket. So all he's asking you to do is just hit a stupid button. It's not that hard. It doesn't cost you anything. All you have to do is hit a button and he appreciates it. But yeah, please hit the subscribe button. It and helps Murray then and then the it helps me. It helps Tim. It helps us all. Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, notification. See button. you next time. Hey, no matter what you're doing, always enjoy your ride. Peace. Peace. I've been foiling much more, but I still wouldn't say I've been like foiling every single day. Um, Murray's top three tips that helped me the most is when I, I'm right foot forward, when I'm like starting to fall off and can't quite seem to get back. He told me to look to the back opposite side corner of the boat, like the back left corner. And it helps me like, I don't know, for whatever, it helps me get there. And um, that was probably the most important piece of advice you gave me. When Which you saved me the most every time. Because you get the power and it pushes you almost away from away, the wave yeah. and if you want to stay on it you have to like line yourself up with the top uh, of the crest line of that power the way you explained the foil coming up and then like big downhill yep smooth downhill pushes yep. that helped tons and then when my back leg was burning you related it to um the uh endo board endo board you can balance like how, yeah how you, if you're all on your back foot you how to balance so he can explain it better but honestly huge improvements and went from like fun to like really really fun so <laughs> had a blast thank you ryan thanks for driving thank you mom thanks for rope tending my leg was burning and he'd say move way back so like i just took front and back but it wasn't necessarily that it was more just like i moved my um back foot maybe like an inch and my front foot stayed where it was and it gave me the ability to like have a little relief when i would be on a good foil or on like a good push or whatever it's called that when i had to pump i was like good to go again all right thank you guys thanks mary peace happy birthday what was That's i supposed birthday. to do my birthday <laughs>